Hi, today we will see what is Weevil distribution, how to draw this Weevil distribution. Right? We will see the parameters involved in the Weevil distribution. Beta is a shape parameter. This is also called threshold parameter. It changes the shape depending upon the value of the beta. Beta can take 0, uh, 1, 2, 3.5, any value, right? real numbers. And alpha is a scale parameter, gives a characteristic life. Uh, and uh, mu is the location parameter that is called shift or waiting time in the queue. And normally waiting time in the queue for queuing problems, a shift for any other uh, normal distribution problems, right? So uh, continuous data we are having no mean in the shifted by this much value here. We will see that when we uh, see the graph. Now we will find out the value of this function. Function is beta by alpha into t minus mu by alpha to the power of beta into e power minus t minus mu by alpha to the power of beta. It's a very tricky calculation. It will be difficult for us to calculate, but only computer can calculate. Even computer calculate only term by term. We will take this term first and then the second term we will calculate and then multiply these two and get this function. That is what we are going to do here. So, these are all the values I have given for the parameters. Shape parameter beta is 2 I have taken. Scale parameter alpha is equal to 5000. Location parameter mu I have taken it as 0. Variable range that is uh, uh, the t value will vary from lower limit to upper limit. Customer specifications here. So, minimum you should take 1. It should be greater than 0. And upper specification limit you can take it from the data depending upon the application. You can put 1000 also, 2000, 10,000 depending upon what is that you want to study. Increment time, so how you are going to change it for plotting because it is going to be a big uh, x-axis, right? And therefore, you can take it in 10 or 1 or like that. I can make it as 10 also, right? And then we will have to find out the values one by one. So, what we will do is we will find out values one by one. here. So, the calculations are given here. Please, we have taken beta is equal to 2.5. I can make it as 3.5 also here, right? I have taken from that. So, now we will change the parameter values and see what does it do, right? The location parameter mu is 0. What does this mean? That means uh, the location is starting from 0 here. If I make a 2000, then the starting point will shift from 0 to 2000. Say I will put 2000 here. So, this is shifting the curve. That is why it is called location parameter. I will keep it as 0 here. And this is changing the shape. The scale parameter is, I will make it as 1000. See what happens. Right. So, it is changing the, uh, the scale of this. Please note here, the mean value changes. Characteristic value changes here. Right. And then I will make it as 5000 here. The characteristic life changes here. Right. Okay. I will make it as 10,000. See, it goes there. It is shifting to a right here. The mean characteristic life changes. So, I will make it as 5000 here. Now, what we will do is, we will change the shape parameter for various values. We will make it as 1 first. So, this is a decreasing curve. We will make it as 2. And this is a skewed curve. We will make it as 3.5. And this is a normal distribution. And we will make it as a 0 0.85. It is a curve again, right? Exponentially decreasing curve here like this, right? And then we will make it as uh, 10. So, it is shifting here. And then we will have to make it as 1, 2.85, 3.5. All this we have seen, right? So, we have seen 1 like this. 2 is skewed curve. 0 0.85 like this and then this is the bathtub curve no so so in life cycle of a product this is the initial period so fast uh, it is decreasing no? initially there will be failures and then it will come to a normal conditions okay and then we will make it as 3.5 3.5 is normal distributions all types of distributions can be obtained here. We can also get even uh, the constant line curve also we will get it. A uniform distribution also we can obtain here. Okay. I hope you have understood what is variable distribution, what are the parameters, what do they do, how do we change, 
this LSL and USL are also very important because that determines the process capability. If LSL and USL are beyond this process control limits, that is three sigma limits here, and the process is a good process. Otherwise, it is a bad process. Suppose LSL is say 2000, that means this is a significant area. Suppose USL is 6000 and this is a significant area. Process is not good. Process capability is very low. Okay. Therefore, we will have to use LSL and USL to find out the process capability of Weevil distribution. A process following Weevil distribution can be analyzed using this process, process capability values obtained from USL and LSL. I hope you have understood what is Weevil distribution and how to do process capability study using Weevil distribution. Thank you very much.